As the movie starts, we are shown a farm in Spain where bulls live with their babies, meaning calves. They grow up here and get trained so that they will become fighter bulls one day. In the starting scene, we see some bulls. They are just babies yet. They were talking to each other. Meanwhile, one more bull enters. It is also a calf, and its name is Ferdinand. It was the beautiful and nice bull on the farm. Neither does it act naughtily, nor does it tease anyone. What? It has a big heart. It takes care of everyone, even if it is a small plant or a flower. Today Ferdinand was going to the flower while taking the water in a bucket. It was growing nearby. Ferdinand gives it water and sees it with love. While seeing Ferdinand quietly, the other calves were jealous. That maybe it is proud. That's why it doesn't talk to anyone. Those calves standing there were looking naughty. They start teasing Ferdinand going to it. They start to bully it. Luckily, a truck comes there so they get attentive towards it. They start seeing the truck. That truck basically comes to select some bulls for bullfighting. Today, a bull will leave from their farm that will participate in the biggest competition in Spain. The naughty calf says to Ferdinand and others, Today, my father will go. It is strong and has a lot of power. It can defeat anyone. Ferdinand also thinks that it wishes its father will go because once someone will go there, it gets famous. Within a short time, many bulls come out from the place because everyone wants to show that they are strong. Now they all start fighting. Ferdinand's father and the father of the naughty baby left behind. Those bulls fight a lot. They were defeating each other with their horns. But in the end, Ferdinand's father wins. They all become happy. It means Ferdinand and its father. On another side, the naughty calf and its father were in anger. They were thinking that they will take their revenge. With it, Ferdinand also gets sad that its father will go fighting. It will bear the pain and it will be far from it. It goes and sits on the head of its father and says, Father, is it necessary for you to go for a fight? Uh, I will be sad without you. Can't we spend our lives in peace? Why did we fight? Its father says, my son, to live. We have to fight always. It is a part of our life. Ferdinand couldn't say anything. It has no friend on the farm. Now its father was also going. It doesn't say anything except for the good luck wish. The door of the truck was open. Ferdinand's father lifts on it. Innocent Ferdinand becomes sad. At the same time, we see a naughty calf. Its color was dark brown. It was aggressive with Ferdinand. It crushes its small plant and flower with its feet. Seeing it, Ferdinand feels depressed. Ferdinand spends the night somehow. As the morning appears, Ferdinand hears the voice of a truck. Ferdinand runs outside. Going there, it sees when the workers opening the door of the truck, its father wasn't there. It gets scared. Maybe its father died in the fighting or maybe it was defeated and it is kept there. It gets panicked and now it will stay happy on the farm. It immediately runs from there without thinking anything. Wasn't the proper morning. There were some people in the car and try to stop it. Some people start running after it. Ferdinand doesn't lose the courage. There was dark everywhere. Ferdinand sees a train at a far distance. It immediately runs inside it. The train moves when it stops at a place Ferdinand also takes off from it. While running, it fell in a ditch. Its eyes were closed because it was tired and also scared. A man comes in front of him and his dog was also with him. He rescues it and takes it with him. When Ferdinand wakes up, it was morning time. A girl comes in front of it. Here Ferdinand gets nervous that where is it? The girl says to it, Don't worry, I will not say anything to you. This girl was the daughter of the man who rescued Ferdinand with his dog and took it here. Her name was Nina. Gradually, she sits near Ferdinand and gains her trust. Ferdinand also comes out. Coming out, Ferdinand gets shocked. There was a lovely garden outside and there were flowers everywhere. There was fragrance and it was Ferdinand's favorite. It starts running in the garden. It smells the flowers and enjoys it. We've shown this scene here that it grows older while playing here. Nina's father used to play the guitar. 
and Nina plays with Ferdinand. Now they have become best friends. Ferdinand has become a huge bull, but still its nature was soft. It has no interest in fighting, and it used to play with Nina. One day, there was a big flower festival in that town. Nina says to her father, we take Ferdinand every year with us. This year, I will also take Ferdinand with me. Nina's father says before Ferdinand was a small calf, now it is a big bull. Only we know that it is so nice, but the people will get scared after seeing it. The flower festival can be ruined. We will take it somewhere else. While being sad, Nina goes from there after taking some flowers in her truck. Ferdinand also becomes sad and alone from behind. Meanwhile, Ferdinand sees the sad face of Nina, which means it comes in front of its eyes. It thinks, Nina will be sad without me. She is habitual of going with me, so why don't I go there? Now Ferdinand moves to go to the flower festival. It was polite and says to Nina, I will not do any naughty acts. Nina says to it, why did you come here? If your father will see you, he will come in anger. They all get scared after seeing you, Ferdinand. Go back. Before she says something, a honeybee bites it from behind. Ferdinand gets scared. Because of the fear of the honeybee, it runs here and there. It ruins everything. It fell the cards and ruined the flowers. There was a great loss. Someone calls the animal rights. They come there immediately and hold it. They have locked it in the truck and they move. Meanwhile, Nina goes behind the truck. How will she tell them that it is her pet? None will listen to her. Because Ferdinand was a huge bull, it was dangerous for all as it was living among all. That truck takes Ferdinand to the farm from where it escaped in childhood. It is the saddest and the emotional phase of this movie. Ferdinand doesn't want to come here because it has bad memories connected from this place. There was a goat with Ferdinand in the truck. It says to it, stop it, Ferdinand. You shouldn't get upset. Come into the farm and everything will be okay. It happens the same. When Ferdinand comes to the farm, it sees its old friends and they welcome it, except for the brown bull who was rude and naughty in childhood. It doesn't welcome it. It says to Ferdinand, I was in peace when you left. Why did you come back? Ferdinand was innocent. While talking to it nicely, it tells, I will go back. I don't want to come here, but I was taken and I will also not be happy here. I will return home. Like this, the night passes. In the morning, a rich man comes into the farm. He came in his luxury car and he was so tall. He was the director of the fighting show. He says he wants the bulls who can fight nicely. This time for my fighting competition, I want a strong bull. That will immediately defeat the bull in front of it. Here this bullfighting starts. Seeing this, the brown bull was excited because it was thinking that today will defeat Ferdinand and will become the hero of all. But this was impossible because an arrogant and wicked bull can't be a hero of anyone. All bulls start fighting there. There was a bull having a neck of red color. Seeing them while fighting, it gets faint because it has no courage to fight with those huge bulls. It was locked in the truck. They come to know it was taken to the slaughtering house. The other bulls become sad. They think the trucks that earlier came, maybe they also take bulls to the slaughtering house. On another side, the bull with the red neck doesn't know anything. It was in its mind. Maybe it is selected for the fighting. Ferdinand was feeling bad for it. It also misses its father. Maybe it also. It starts thinking about how to escape from here. It discusses it with the other bulls, but they say, we don't believe in it, that we will be slaughtered or cut. We believe that we will be selected one day for the fighting and will become famous. Moving from them, Ferdinand comes to some hedgehogs. It asks them, will you help me for escaping from here? They agree with it. In a hurry, Ferdinand reaches a room. It was made an achievement room of the farm. There were the horns of those bulls who won the fight. The bull who won the fight, its horns are placed here. It is obvious before this they're killed. There is their photograph behind their horns. When Ferdinand sees around it, sees a photograph. It was of its father. There were the horns of its father on it, which means it won the fight but now not in this world. Seeing this, Ferdinand feels broken. 
coming out, it tells its friends. But its companions make fun of it. The brown bull says, what do you say? You will not be selected for the fight ever. That's why you're saying ill about the fight. They start fighting and they were using their horns. During the fight, the horn of the brown bull breaks. It was broken by Ferdinand. The director of the fighting show was also seeing their fight from the window. He feels Ferdinand has a lot of power. He says to the farm owner that, I want Ferdinand for my next fight. The brown bull was taken to the slaughtering house according to rule. So it would be slaughtered because now its horn was broken and it can't fight ever. Seeing this, they all get sad. They say, Ferdinand, you were right. Now we have to escape from here. Before this, they plan to make those bulls release from the slaughtering house. It means the redneck bull and the brown bull. They go there, and while crawling, a trolley makes them sit in it and also returns in it. With it, the workers of the farm are also following them. They can't make their escape from there so easily without getting late. Those animals take a truck from there, sit in it, and move from there. Those small hedgehogs were also with them. They were driving so the other animals can keep an eye on the workers. But a car of the farm workers was also behind them. Ferdinand was keeping an eye on them. Maybe they will come closer to them. It immediately asks its companions to take off from the truck. Look, there is our train in front of us. It makes its all companions lift on the train with the help of its horns and head. When there was its turn, the workers of the farm catch it. They throw ropes on it so they can control it. They immediately lock it in the truck. They decide that we didn't know that Ferdinand is so strong. Then it was taken for the bullfighting. On another side, Nina and her father were watching the news. They come to know about the huge bullfight of Ferdinand. Nina's father says, Nina, don't cry and come with me to the fighting show. We will see Ferdinand there. We will try to escape it from there. Now it was in the stadium. Ferdinand was in front of all, but it has no interest in fighting because it was the thing in which its father and many bulls have lost their lives. The director tries that takes the start of the fight or come in anger. But as I told you, Ferdinand was so polite. It doesn't want to fight. It doesn't do anything. The audience there starts laughing that the director who thinks he is something. He doesn't do this. He couldn't control a bull. He comes in anger. His ego was hurt. He says, Ferdinand, now I will not spare you. The director holds some swords and moves forward to cut its horns. Now to save its life, Ferdinand runs here and there. The director couldn't approach it. It means he can't even touch its horns. Ferdinand comes in anger. It lifts the director in the sir while stabbing its horns in his costume. Here, the people insult the director even more. He was in anger and says to Ferdinand, now I will not spare you. He moves his sword to it and was about to kill it. The audience makes noise. Ferdinand shouldn't be killed. From the audience, Nina immediately goes to the stadium. She calls Ferdinand and says, while putting a hand on its face, I missed you. Seeing her, Ferdinand also becomes happy. A flower falls on Ferdinand, and all the audience was supporting Ferdinand, because it sits silently in front of the director. Here, the heart of the director also melts. He skips the plan to kill Ferdinand from his mind. While holding his sword, he turns his face. All people in the stadium were getting happy. There was the flower rain on Ferdinand, as it likes the flowers. It likes all this and feels good. Meanwhile, we see the door opens and all the companions of Ferdinand come there for cheering it up. It means they were on the train, but for Ferdinand, they come here. Now Nina comes to her house while talking those all animals in her truck. They come out from there and Nina's wish is also fulfilled. That Ferdinand returns. She likes to take care of all of them. With it, there is a happy ending of this movie. Thank you for watching.